Hey guys, how are you doing? Baruch Hashem. I'm sitting here with my friend, beloved brother Ira Michaelson. Thumbs up. <laughs> People know what that is. The thumbs up. We 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 promised. Uh, we prom I promised Ira that uh, that I let him teach you what that thumb up means. Where is it? <laughs> You think that Facebook took it? Uh, <laughs> where Facebook took that thumb up from? I don't know. <laughs> they must have taken it from those guys that sit all day and do this. Learning Gemara. Learning, learning Gemara. Where Rav Dror talks about those eight, ten pages of uh, Gemara every day that you lose your mind if you don't learn. So, Baruch Hashem. Ira Michaelson is a very, very precious diamond um, in our virtual community. He's coming from a very different background than mine, and um, Ira, can you a little bit uh, tell your story? Not no, please, Ira, you know, give it a, 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 in a in a short version of a couple of minutes. So, so the short the short version is that Rav Zor and I were just sitting here talking briefly about it, and and I was saying that uh, you know where I grew up, kind of in the Orthodox community. Um, in an Orthodox shul, um, I went off to Derech for over 20 years, and then returned where he grew up more in a secular family, and then made tshuva. But we both, you know, came back to kind of the same place. But uh, you know, there's many twists and turns, and uh, on the road, on the path to. Uh, can you to tell us a little bit creator. about? Can you tell us a little bit about the the Christian uh, background of of, uh, of your past? What of mine? Is, yes. So you know, one of the things a lot of people know that um, so many of the people today know me from the fact that I was involved in Jews for Judaism and working in counter missionary. A lot of people don't realize that before that, the reason why I got into counter missionary work is because many of those years that I was off the derech was spent in Christianity. Why in Christianity? Because what I didn't find in Judaism, I, I found in Christianity. I found this loving environment, this warm environment that I didn't find in Judaism. And, and I'm sorry to say, and some people are going to get mad that I say this, but you know, when I when I returned and, and I and I came back to, to Judaism, I said, "Oh, it's nice. I left 40 years ago, and I came back, and nothing's changed since I left." They left Judaism just the way I left it when I came back. But uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to change that now. So right? tell we're me, trying to change I, it's very important for me to to hear from your perspective. Um, how can it be that that people that souls that are going in the world are finding themselves going through so many changes and so like changing their lives in such radical ways like you born into an orthodox community found yourself running a congregation of, right. of christian mm -hmm. christian right and uh, and uh, being a pastor right mm -hmm. for how many years 20 20 years yeah. of your life over right. there in a different world completely different and then finding your way back to to Judaism and mm -hmm. making aliyah right and living in Sfat for a few so, years and Ju Jerusalem and mm -hmm. then joining us for the Muna project right. and like what's going on with the souls <laughs> so the amazing thing is is that I was very I can remember I was very very angry with Hashem with the creator when I when I made tshuva when I when I left Christianity and I came back and then I got a call from a dear friend and many of the people know who I'm talking about Rabbi Tovia Singer, and Rabbi Tovia Singer called me up one day and he said to me, you know, Ira, I envy you. And I said, Tovia, how can you envy me? And he said, I'm a rabbi, my father was a rabbi, my, my, my father's father was a rabbi, I know nothing but Orthodox Judaism. He goes, look at the way you've been tested and look at where you've come. I've never been tested the way you've been tested. So I, I had a different perspective. I really came away from that conversation realizing that while some people would say I wasted 20 years of my life, really I would not be able to reach the people that I'm reaching today. And there are people that will hear from me um, that will never listen to Rav Jor. The same way that there are people that will listen to Rav Jor and he'll bring life into them um, that I could never reach. And I think this is why Hashem takes us on these different journeys. And, and we, we all have, 
as we talked about earlier in the, the, the video that we did earlier today, we said each one of us has diamonds, each one of us has that chokhmah, that wisdom inside. That's exactly what I, I, I wanted to ask. Do you think, Ira, that it means that really there is maybe something special in us? Let's, let's say you and me. Is right. there something special in us no. that we, that like, look, my life started completely in a different world, different zone. I was definitely not connected to right. spirituality and no tradition at all in my life. I was like so far away from all of that. And suddenly today I'm finding myself in front of thousands of people and bringing inspiration and light into right. their life. So, so maybe, there is, maybe there is something unique in me and maybe there is something unique in you. And maybe there's something unique in everybody. Uh, so that's, that's what I so want to hear. In, in, we talked earlier when we were sitting out on your swing. And I talked about in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26 and 27, where it says, And the Creator made man. And it says, Adam. It doesn't say Yehudim. It doesn't say Jews. It says, Adam. He made man. And then it says, He created man. What's the difference between making and creating in the Hebrew? One, he made man, but when he created man, he, he gave nishmat chayim. He blew the breath of life into Adam, Adam Arishon, into man. So that means that if you're a living soul today, um, and, and Rav Jor wrote an amazing book that, uh, that I had, gave him a little help with, um, called The Book of the Worlds, where we talk a little bit about this about this idea of the souls that are broken up from originally from Adam HaRishon. So each and every person has that unique part of them so, inside. So what brought you and me to go out to the world and to teach so many people and to, and to express that light and other people even though that they believing also... Believing in yourself. Believing in yourself. Believing that, that you have a unique point of truth within yourself that Hashem wants to use you. That it's not about Rav Jor. Rav Jor has his mission. Ira has his mission. You have your mission. You have a wisdom inside of you that only you can give to the world. And right now, many of you are sitting there thinking that you're not good enough. You don't, you, you're not smart enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not handsome enough. You're not tall enough. You're too fat. You're too skinny. You're too short. Whatever it is that you feel that there's a lacking in you, there's no lacking in you. Hashem blew the breath of life into you, and you're as unique as I am, and you're as unique as Rav Jor is, and there are people that only you can reach in the world, and you need to find that point today and let those diamonds shine. I think that for this uh, moment, it was worth it to come down to this world to hear those inspiring words. This is the truth, guys. Every person in this universe holds inside of him the breath of the Creator himself. We are part of the Creator. We all hold inside of us chelek eloka mimal, a part of heaven from above. And that part is unique and special and powerful and is showing and revealing the light of the Creator in a color and a shade and shape that no one else is able to, to reveal to the world except of you. So for that, we need to work as hard as we can on our self-esteem and to express our feelings and our thoughts and our mindset and to be who we are. If it meant for you to write a book, to illustrate a children's book, to compose a, a, a musical, to, to write a song, to, to, to send a letter to your friend, to write a text, to believe in yourself and to post a fantastic, super inspiring post on Facebook, to make a video, to make a clip, to do something, to, to, to open a store, to sell your own brand of, 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 of clothing. Whatever you feel from within that it's a spark of, 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 of spirit that has been given to you by the Creator, you are not allowed to hold it back from the world. The world needs you. The world needs your light. Ira, so what is uh, our, our future? What do you predict to all the people that are seeking for faith and struggling to believe in themselves, to believe in the Creator? Daily issues, what, what, what will happen? I believe that what, what people are on a highway right now, 
and there are many lanes to the highway, and some of you need to put the turn signal on, and you need to start moving over from the far left lane, and slowly, slowly, la'at, la'at, as we say in Israel, slowly, slowly, move into the next lane of your life, and slowly starting to believe in yourself and taking the next step. Even if it's just baby steps, put one foot in front of the other, tomorrow when you wake up, and share. Do something, do something different. Share with somebody. Smile at somebody when you're walking down the street. Smile at yourself when you get up in the morning. Look at yourself in the mirror and smile and be happy no matter what's going on. You don't know what's going on in my life and what's going on in Rav George's life. You wouldn't even be able to make it if you, <laughs> if you live the life that we live. That's 100% <laughs> true. No doubt about it. Every one of us is going through so many up and downs in our lives that other people are not able to deal with and to hold on to those tests. And also we wouldn't be able to stand in the tests that you are experiencing in your life with no doubt at all. I have friends that are telling me situations that they're going through and you know, I, I can only stand and pray and to and to beg to the Creator to reveal His unconditional love to all of us. I'm very proud of you. Ira Michaelson for sure is with me joining. Proud of you all. Blessing you. Thumbs up. Share. <laughs> like us on Facebook. Send all of the videos to your friends. Save souls of holy people that are searching for the truth. And from heaven they will answer to all of our prayers and requests immediately. Amen. Ken Yehi Subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit emuna.com.